Whoa. Oh, yes. Look at that, man. The old trident. I got a piece of a chain and it's still coming. Oh, what's that? Something black. Oh, that's not a gun, is it? What is going on today, guys? Today, we are back out here to do some more magnet fishing on the boat. And we are going to be doing some more magnet fishing at a spot here that some of you guys might recognize. We've been here tons of times in the past, but we've only magnet fished from this walking bridge here. Now, this used to be an old railroad back in the day, but now it's just a walking trail. Or like a pier, I should say. We have found tons of crazy stuff here. We've even found explosives and we've had to have the bomb squad come out. Now, not only is there this pier, but if you look right behind me, there's like these little fishing boat houses. That is gonna be what we're magnet fishing today. I kinda wanna poke around these houses and see what we can find. As always, you just never know what you're gonna find. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right down to it. Let's start dipping our magnets and let's see if we can find anything today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or if you wanna check out Alex's channel, or if you'd like to pick up a magnet, those links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, today we are back out here on the boat. I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. Now check it out, guys. These are the boat houses. I think there's, it looks like there's only two right now, but I'm pretty sure there used to be a whole bunch of them along this shoreline. Let's get right down to it. Start tossing up in here and see what we can find today. Oh, I see, what is that big metal? beams or something hey watch out for that check this out guys i didn't even tell you this one yet we had a uh-oh something happened with our last trolling motor we got a bunch of fishing line tangled up in there and i don't know if i blew the motor or what but it like quit working which is crazy because that thing was 700 bucks and i just bought that i want to say three four months ago First throw, looks like, oh, I do see a little bit of color. Looks like a big old long piece of rebar or something, maybe a can top, and looks like a jig. Is it good though? That's the question. Heck yeah, you guys, look at that one. Hook looks good and everything. We got the old boink boink. Being that this is a fishing raft type boathouse, I'm sure there's probably tons of fishing stuff in here. And as I say that, oh, Alex man. pulls up a fishing lure. That's a darn one. Nice. Check this one out, you guys. Look at the colors on that one. Is the rubber stiff or is it wobbly? Uh, if it's, oh yeah, it's that's like, that's fresh it. yet. I have a feeling there's gonna be all kinds of stuff in here, but I was just pointing out to Alex, you guys. Number one, look at these uh, metal chains coming off the, watch out for those. And then there's like a metal pillar. I don't know what that is. We don't want to get snagged up in here. That probably wouldn't be very fun. I wonder how old these are. Sucker looks old. I got something here. This is literally my second throw. Whoa, dude, whoa, whoa. Hold on, no, is something slipping out. Something slipped out, whole bunch of mud. But you guys, look at that. Oh yeah, it might be like a lampshade. Aha, and look at, there's like them uh, lamps right there. What do you call it? The street light. It's got like that plate material. It's almost like glass kinda. No, that's definitely metal. That's pretty crazy, guys. But look at the mud. You can see how it was like stuck right in the mud. Or maybe this end was stuck in the mud so that part was exposed. Wow, that one's been down there for a while. Literally on my second throw, man. I'm telling you, I have a feeling there's all kinds of stuff in here. It almost looked like a bowl. I heard something click. Whoa. Oh, yes. Look at that, man. The old trident. I caught me the old fishing spear. And honestly, I think that's probably what this is, you guys. Look, you can see somebody has uh, like electrical tape they put around there. Actually, you know what this might be? This might specifically be a sturgeon fishing spear. It almost looks like a chandelier or something. Like you could put candles on there. That's pretty cool. But I thought we had something else on there too. Heck yeah. This guy here. Ooh, that's like uh I see a string though. Hold on a second. 
Yeah, what is this? That's definitely tied to that. This is a trot line weight. We found all kinds of these and they're all different. Every single one of them just seems to be some kind of homemade random metal, whatever metal chunk you could grab and you just tie it to a string and use it as your weight. Not bad, you guys. There's some seriously cool stuff in here. <laughs> Freaking cool, man. This has got to be an old one, too, huh? Oh, here we go. I wonder how popular the uh, fishing or spurgeon uh, spearing is around here. Oh, I got something heavy. Oh, <gasps> dude. I see purple. Yo, there is some cool stuff in here. What is it? Just like a the old beach bucket definitely missing the bottom of that bucket hello pretty cool though you guys but like look at the paint that's pretty cool it's like a marble almost and again if you look at how like the bottom half of this thing is smooth and clean and the top is super dirty it was probably stuck in the mud just like that maybe it was the fishing bucket they probably stuck all their fish in there I just smack something. Oh, that's, is that gonna give it back to me or what? I'm almost starting to think not. Dude, there's something for real going on here. Uh oh, we came off. I lost her in the sauce. Oh, but look what I did get, huh? -ha. Don't you guys, it looks like we got the butt of a fishing lure. Completely missing the head, and who knows, maybe a fish chomped that sucker right off. Well, you ain't fishing with that one. Oh, I like suck something immediately. What do I got here? Hey, I see some orange. Oh, I'm gonna like slip in, jeez. First of all, check this out, you guys. We got the old skizzles and they still snip, no way. Could actually keep these on the boat as the old fishing line cutters or something. Pretty funky, you guys. We found us the orange handled scissors and it looks like uh, just a piece of plumbing or something. Maybe it's like uh, one of their chairs or something. <laughs> oh, I got something heavy. The old chair leg. Oh, here we go. Ooh, what is that? Looks like maybe some kind of lid for something. You can see like uh, some lips on there. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, look at right here. If you look at this side, there's like a hole in it. Is that like a some kind of pouring spout? I have no clue what kind of cat we got there. Whoa, what is that? Bar bar barks? I can't even tell what that one is. You can tell that's been down there for all hundred freaking years. That is super cool. Oh, look at this. What the heck do you call that? Uh, um, a brace. Yeah, for like wood glue, right? Oh, yeah. That's a super long one, though. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> this thing's massive, man. What the heck do you think you're uh, clipping up with that one, you guys? That's pretty crazy. Definitely ain't moving no more. Honestly, though, I bet you you could get this working again. The old clamper down piece. Pretty cool, man. Whoa, what is going on here? Looks like a couple things, you guys, but first of all, the big obvious one looks like just a block of wood literally with a bolt through it. Now this probably came off of the old railroad. That would be my guess for sure. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I got something. Stay on there. Whoa, yo. Oh, a chain. I got a piece of a chain and it's still coming. Oh, what's that? Something black. Oh, that's not a gun, is it? Oh, I thought that was a gun, you guys. Hold on a second. We got some kind of tool. But what's on the end of this chain is a whole bunch of nothing. Except for a barcode. What the heck? Look at that, you guys. Was that fresh bought from the store? What do you think they were doing with that one? But you guys, look at this big mess of stuff on here. I don't know. Yeah, this chain is not attached to anything anymore. So who knows if it's still down there or what? Got us a little piece of chain. 
But this piece here, you guys, that I thought looked like a gun because it was black and I seen the handle. Deluxe cordless screwdriver and drill. The old zzz, zzz, zzz. How old do you think that one is? This here looks like my grandpa's, like, like my grandpa style sure. type <laughs> stuff, dude, seriously. Well, we almost had us a pistol. And then, not only that, but we had this thing on here too, with a bunch of wires or something. I don't know what to think of that one. Some kind of metal bracket piece, literally with just a bunch of wires tangled or tied up on there. Man, there's some funky stuff in here. Oh, oh, what is going on here? Oh, no, no. Look at how good of condition this can is. I don't want to rub on it too much or do any damage. Look at Ham's beer. Wow, man, there's literally not a hole anywhere. Not at all. This thing is like, holy cow, this is in really good condition. From the land of sky blue water. Ooh. You do got a couple of them on there. There's probably more. Big old fishing line. Oh yeah, what is that? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, snap. What is that, weeds I'm pulling on or what the? heck is going on there? Something. Whoa, look at this one, you guys. I thought that was just a piece of rebar or something. Got a big old hook on there. But look at this end, some kind of loop. What the heck you think that was being used for? I don't know. Maybe the old fishing gaff instead of a fishing net. If you get a big fish, you use this to hook them in the gills or something and lift them up. I don't know. Some kind of big old hook piece. First of all, a little bit of blue on there. We cost the old Bud Light cap. But check it out, you guys. We got our first railroad spike. And if you remember in the beginning, me saying that this used to be a railroad. So it makes perfect sense. The old cash money railroad spike. Oh, look at that shiny can. Oh, oh, you guys, I was gonna say it almost looked like it was closed yet. Wait a minute, look at the date on there. Best if used by September 30th, 2025. So what the heck you think was in there, man? It does look pretty shiny and fresh yet. They were fishing with the old can of tuna or something. from the same barrel or a different one there, but definitely it's just another chunk of 55 gallon drum barrel. Ah, look at what I got here. Little can top, little can top. So two can tops. Ooh, look at that. Another beer top. But check this thing out, you guys. Looks like some kind of eye bolt here with like a pulley hanging off of there and definitely not a very big one. What the heck you think they were using that for? Something to maybe lower these tiny boats into the water? Who knows? <laughs> Oh, look at that, man. I didn't think there was anything on there. Oh, look at there's something else on there. Right, yep, and that's a lock. So check it out, you guys. I think this is like a putty knife or something. Who knows what they were using it for, but holy cow, look at the handle on there. If you look at this side of the wood, it's still like smooth and half decent yet, and this side is cracked and falling right apart. The old egg flipper. And it doesn't look like nothing too super fancy on the lock, you guys. Just the old master lock. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure we found a lot of old padlocks and like railroad locks from that bridge. So there could be even more older style locks in here, but that is definitely not what this is. Just the old master lock.
A lot of lily pads going on here. Is that what I'm snagging or what? Oh, dude, I'm gonna fall in. I'm telling you, these waves. Oh, dude, another can. Yep, I don't know what I all got going on here. Looks like a couple things, but first of all, let's take a look at this can. Whoa, this one's definitely missing a big old chunk out of the side for sure. But what do you think that even says? I'm guessing something blackberry? Sugar-free, I think, says in the middle. I can't tell what that top name would be, though. Something like this, you really can't read it. I don't know if I would even keep this one. Still super cool, though. But we also had a bunch of other stuff on here. Looks like the old stick, couple bolts and stuff. But you guys, look at this big old gear piece hanging on there. Oh, what do we got here? Some fishing line hanging and dangling. Anything on there? Heck no. Oh, you guys, look at this gear looking piece here. Again, has what looks like a string tied to it. Some more trot line evidence. And what do you think that gear was even used for? You can kind of see like some notches in there. I don't know what to think of that one. Pretty teeny tiny one. I just landed right on something smack dab right onto it yes here we go what do i got some goodies or what um at first glance it looks like just a piece of rebar but look down here definitely some electrical wires coming off of this thing and again there's like black electrical tape on there what do you think is going on here some kind of electrical piece i don't know about that one that's a good eight out of ten nine out of ten keep on throwing that thing. oh my dude oh what's this dude this is heavy 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 it's like half floating in the water, it feels like coming up. What is this? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. Oh, you know what that is? That's the top of my drum. Yeah, it's half of a barrel, yo. Yeah. Or it might be the whole dang barrel at this point. Oh my gosh, I think it is. It is the whole barrel. Holy cow, man. And you know what the saddest part is about finding these 55 gallon barrels like this is nine times out of 10, they probably kept gas or something in here, man. So for these to end up in the river, that is not cool. That's definitely not good for the environment. Oh, big old bundle here. <laughs> What's going on here? Big old snag, some more fishing line. Oh, oh, anything on there? I don't think so. Oh, look at what I do see on there, you guys. Wait a minute. First of all, this is like an extension cord or something. This is definitely some kind of electrical cord, some kind of extension cord or something. Who knows what that one came off of. But there's also part of a fishing reel on there and that sucker looks old as can be. No pole, just a reel. This trolling motor sucks. I don't know why I want the other one back. Darn heavy oh, score. Oh, oh, score for you too, dude. Look at the size of this window. Wave, Heck dude. yeah, that's a big old window weight. You guys, look at this hammer, man. And I can't believe that the handle is still on there because that usually never happens. What the heck? It's starting to crack. You can tell if I, I just, all I would have to do is snap that sucker, it would come right off. Just looking at that wood there, how long you guys think that sucker has been soaking? Oh my goodness. The old house builder. Look at what's sitting right on the top. Nice, bright fishing lure, man. Now that's some cold hard cash money. I love the ones with the more color, the better they are. This almost looks like a rip and wrap, but not quite. Oh, what does it got? What does it say there? Booyah. And she still rattles. And this sucker's probably like five bucks. Cold hard cash.
Here we go. Ooh, pretty heavy there. What is this? Oh, look at that sucker. You guys, we only ever find these by railroads and I still, I guess I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is some kind of railroad link, like a train car link. Pretty cool, you guys, the old railroad link. Look at that, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is actually a railroad pin and this goes hand in hand with them railroad links that I just caught before. Right here, I'm pretty sure these go together. Something like that, you guys. I don't really know. I mean, it fits like perfectly. That's actually pretty crazy. The old railroad link and pin. something here and I see some bubbles oh it's slipping is that a chair hold on a second we're slipping I gotcha I think it is it's definitely part of a chair holy cow you guys it's literally just one leg in the back holy cow it's a 2d chair, <laughs> <laughs> it's a 2D chair. <laughs> take a seat on that one once dude <laughs> it's like a uni chair I don't think nobody's sitting in that one anymore Oh, I know what this is. Oh, yeah. It's a train brake. Yep. Isn't it, bro? Definitely. Holy freaking Big smoke. old train brake. Ugh. The old brake pad. Dude, we got, um, we got a good variety of railroad pieces and not just the spikes, like some cool pieces. Like we got the connector, the pins. Now we got the brake. Tons of railroad yeah. stuff. These are freaking heavy, man. Those are cool. 30 pounds, believe it or not, you guys. That's solid steel. <laughs> Is this going to come up? It kind of wants to. Yes, it is. All kinds of bubbles. That's heavy. Whoa. Oh, look at what it is. I think, is that an anchor? Oh my gosh, dude, it's like heavy. I almost can't even hold it. That sucker's got to be 30 pounds. You guys, check this thing out. At first, I thought it was an anchor because I do see like a a loop at the top here we could tie a rope or something but if you look on this shaft there's definitely gears here and then if you look down at the bottom it looks like this could definitely be bolted or mounted onto something i don't know what the heck to think of that you guys but that sucker's heavy man <laughs> I almost came in. That caught my body, guys. My goodness. Oh, oh look at that, ball. you guys. I got me a teeny tiny horseshoe. Holy cow. <laughs> and look at this one compared to the one Alex found. Mine fits right inside there, like literally. That's crazy, you guys. The old good luckaroo horseshoe. I don't know where I should put it, but we're keeping that one on the boat. Hello.
just dropped off all of our scrap. If you don't know how this works, now we go back on the scale. They're gonna reweigh us, and that's how they tell us how much money we get here today. It's over a thousand. Not too bad of a scrapyard run, you guys. We've definitely had better, but we've definitely had worse. This time around, we got 1,340 pounds of scrap metal. They paid us at six and a half cents per pound, and we got right around $90. So we got 90 bucks in our pocket and we removed a whole nother truckload of metal from the river. It is absolutely mind blowing to see how much stuff just keeps coming out. We're not gonna stop you guys, we're gonna keep it going. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the